This is my 5-axis Thurnwood CNC router that I purchased from uh, a guy who bought it from an auction which uh, I understand essentially came from NASA or at least a contractor of NASA and um, this is me retrofitting it and getting it all um, figured out and working. It's pretty old. Uh, I think it was originally built in 1984, but it was retrofitted in uh, 1994, from what I understand, with the Siemens servo motors. Initially, it had stepper motors. Um, those blueprints are, that you see, they're uh, pretty much the um, five axis head plans and all the electrical schematics from when it was retrofitted uh, it has servos and it is belt driven with ball screws pretty clean ball screws um, there are wires ran throughout with the uh, cable drag chains um, brand new tank on it 30 gallon industrial tank uh, air reservoir for the pneumatic counterbalance on the Z axis and this is behind the machine uh, has those linear guides on it it has those rotary uh, switches Allen Bradley I think it has five of those on it it has the exhaust vent uh, which does move laterally uh, for dust extraction Initially, it was used for foam, uh, I think a ye yellow modeling foam. From what I understand, it made a, the, the pattern for the fuel tank for the space shuttle. Uh, it was very exciting to know. It's a huge machine, so I figured. Uh, figured it, it did put in work uh, in its day and it's good to see the machine moving again when I received it all of these wires were just chopped uh, they just chopped them and I guess they loaded it loaded it on the trailer and uh, I had to figure out what went where and um, it wasn't as hard as what it seemed when I when it initially arrived that's this is uh, Simo Drive 611 analog system. And this unit runs off 480 volts. And I, this was how it was wired. Everything on the bottom is pretty much wired, and everything on the top, I ripped all of that out. It had a Pentium 2 processor uh, unit with a with the proprietary Thermwood uh, controller board. So now I just have a Lenovo uh, M93P Tiny 4th Gen i5 running it with the touchscreen monitor. And that's my 75 kVA uh, step up transformer to step up the voltage from 208 to 480. And it was all uh, inspected uh, by the Wake County um, fire inspection inspectors <laughs> and electrical inspectors. And I passed. This is the Z axis uh, terminals. It's the, the pneumatic uh, counterbalance for the Z axis. There's one on each side. These are the Siemens ser servos. They're pretty stout servos. It's an Allen Bradley switch on the uh, C asses. It's the high high end uh, encoders on on all six motors, and these are belt driven. This is a two axis head. This is all the air that's been ramped up through the uh, for these uh, pneumatic counterbalance. It's the Y axis. It's 
the X axis. The X axis is a uh, slave driven, so, so there are two uh, servos. There's the back of the A axis with the rocker switch and the home sensor, proximity sensor. It's under the table. I think originally they had the uh, stepper motor drivers under the table before it was retrofitted. It even had an air conditioner under there. Oops, lights out. Let's try it again. <laughs> running Windows 10 on the 4th Gen i5 Lenovo M93P Tiny. It actually sits behind the monitor outside of the control panel and it's ran with an ethernet cable to the controller. This is Mach 4. This is a Allen Bradley rotary switch for the uh, e-stop, just in case you get too close to the machine. That was originally installed. Everything's original. I didn't take too much stuff out, the controller, and obviously I, I didn't use a spindle. This is about half speed here. Servos can, can use a fine tuning. Uh, if you want to get the most out of these servos, they, they need to be fine tuned, but as now they work properly and uh, pretty accurately. Pretty majestic to watch it dance in, in person. Uh, it's really big. Um, even though the table isn't too much uh, bigger than my own personal router that I use and built, uh, which is, uh, I'm getting about 60 inches by 96 inches by uh, 21 and a half inches on, on the other machine. This machine is uh, maybe uh, 60 inches by 120 inches um, by a good 20 inches a little more in, in, in Z height but this weighs probably five times more at over 20,000 pounds uh, per the truck driver who delivered it when he uh, got weighed in at the uh, scales And I imagine that T-slot table there, um, that was part of the retrofit and it is massive. Um, that has to add, you know, however many, however many uh, pounds, but that thing is uh, definitely heavy.
the very stop motors. I didn't get any help from uh, the Siemens forums in, in regards to uh, not using their controller and being able to control these analog drives uh, via Mach 4, Windows 10. Here's it homing. This is CS's home. Now that these switches were left in place, I changed the wiring uh, a little. Um, I had to run some extra wire, about 80 extra feet in, in, in the system. But I did take some out. And these were all simply the, the home switches and, and uh, the limit switches and uh, pressure valve. homing the Y axis now. Now we're homing the Z axis. You see these little sensors light up. It's, it's pretty uh, neat and simple how, how uh, the original constructors uh, designed this. My door here is uh, 16 feet high by I think uh, 10 feet wide, 14 feet wide or something. So this 16 foot high door was keyed um, for me getting this in here without disassembling it uh, much at all. Very happy to see it work and to uh, figure everything out. So now it needs to uh, begin producing something. Uh, we're going to stick with the modeling, modeling uh, foam patterns. Huge spindle that, that I bought. All right. Thanks for watching.